Hey guys, I've got a really cool alternate picking metal rhythm practice pattern for you to learn and I designed this to really help you get better at the alternate picking style because it's repetitive all the way through here. It's going to be in the key of A minor and this is the riff and progression that you're about to learn. <laughs> Now I've got a little surprise at the end of the video for you. Actually, I'm just going to spoil it. I've got a backing track for you to play along with. It's going to be exactly what you just heard, but you'll play along with it for about a minute there. But first, I want to break down exactly what's going on on guitar here. There's some little nuances I want to explain, and of course I want to give you uh, the chord progression and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go through that riff one more time. I'm just going to play it out in the open for you, not in the full mix. This is what we're going to be doing, and I'll break everything down after that. And then again, we've got the full backing track coming for you to play along with. So here it is. <laughs> Alright, so very simple chord progression here, and again, I'm going to break everything down for you. So first, let's start with the chords, okay? We'll start with that. I always like to start with that as the foundation, because once we know what those are, then we can kind of fill in the blanks really easy for everything else. So we're playing an F. This is in the key of A minor, by the way, but we're starting with an F, and we go to that F, then to the G, then back to the F. Let's just go through that part one time here. Or a couple times actually. Alright, so what I'm doing here again. We're, we're just playing that F power chord, letting it ring out just a little bit, and halfway through it we start alternate picking. I didn't want you to dive right into the alternate picking here, okay? I want you to hear that chord first before we get into that alternate picking. Nothing wrong with starting that way, that's fine, but for the purpose of this lesson, I want you to start midway through. So that's why I hold out that chord, kind of gets you prepped for what's to come, and then gives you a little bit more confidence, like, okay, I played that power chord, man, it sounds pretty cool. Now let's dive into the alternate picking. So then you just start right away into that. Okay, so then we go to a G, kind of like a cool little, uh, there's probably a really, <laughs> a really cool music term for this. And I don't know what it is, but <laughs> anyway, we go from the F to that G really quickly and then go right back to that F. One more thing I need to share with you real quick. When I play the G power chord, there's a little note that I hit in there. And what I'm doing is I'm actually palm muting that open E string. Very, very quickly, as soon as I play that G power chord, open E string, palm muted, then back to that F. So I'll play this slower. <laughs> Okay, so you got that down. All right, let's go to the A power chord, the A minor, or you know, we're just playing a power chord here, so it's an A. The A power chord, same cadence, but we're going to the B flat, okay, with that A. So at first we're going F, G, F. This time we're going A, B flat, A. But then the last time around we're gonna play something different. We're actually gonna play a C power chord, but I'll go through that. So let's, let's start with that. Again, same cadence, this is pretty, Pretty simple here, okay? All right, so what I'm doing here, remember that little bitty nuance that I played after the G, right? Before going to the F, I hit that open E string before I went to that F. So same thing here with the A power chord. I go to the B flat power chord and then before going back to that A, we've got that little nuance, but all I'm really doing there is just 
just playing that A string. So nothing, nothing special. So listen to this closely. <laughs> Now, I just wanted you to get that part down, so that's why I did that repetitively there. But the last time around, before we start the progression over again, you only go to that B flat once. And the second time around, the last time around, you go to a C instead. So let me start from the A, A, B flat, then A, C. <laughs> Notice that little nuance again after the C. After the C, I hit that open E string again before going to that F, starting the progression over again. So I'm going to go through this one more time and then I'm going to start the backing track. So here we go. <laughs> Here's the backing track. I'll give you a four count and it's going to run for about a minute. So have fun jamming along with this. Now, I know a lot of you watching this video right now, you're already in my online guitar course called Metal Riff Master. Thank you, by the way, and I appreciate all the feedback. If you're not in my course, there's a link to Metal Riff Master in the YouTube description of this video, so definitely go check that out. I wanna just kind of give you some, some notes here about this riff, this progression, and the alternate picking technique that we're doing here. Uh, again, this video is all about getting better at alternate picking, and I did this video because I know that's where a lot of metal guitar players have some issues, has some trouble just getting that down. And I'll be honest with you guys, if I don't practice alternate picking for a while, which I practice it every day these days, but I've gone through times in my life way back years ago where I didn't practice it, I'd get real good, then I, I just would go without playing that style for several weeks and man, it was just like, what happened? This is like way back when I kind of like, I don't know, I was going through some stuff in life where I wasn't playing guitar as much. And then when I got back really heavy into it, no pun intended, it was like, okay, I'm having trouble with alternate picking. I say that to say this, make sure that you're practicing everything in equal portions, okay? But maybe practice a little more on the things that you have trouble with so that you do have that balance, if that makes sense. It's kind of like bodybuilding. When you're, uh, you're working on your physique, you don't want to have like a big chest, for example, and big arms, but skinny little legs, okay? And of course, you know, I want you to practice the, the styles and the techniques that are in your specific genre and what you want to play, not what somebody else tells you or even what I'm telling you. Make sure that you're practicing the techniques that you want to get better at, okay? Make sure you're given uh, each method adequate attention, but again, if you're having trouble, and I know a lot of you do, 
and I had trouble in the past too with alternate picking. If that's one of the if that's one of the methods you're having trouble with, then give that a little bit more attention, and that way it just gives you a nice balance of being a metal guitar player. And that might mean you need to train your legs twice a week instead of just once. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also, along with the course, that link is in the description. I also have a free practice guide as well if you want to start there. If you don't have that, go ahead and pick that up. The, all those links are in the description of this YouTube video here. So guys, leave me any questions or comments, and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, as always, keep it metal.